Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over, probably take, probably do this in a couple videos, but I want to go over a solution to a final exam that I used uh, pretty recently for CIS 195 Web Development 1, making a web page. And we're also using this as kind of a review activity in the advanced level of that class. So something we did in week 10 of the first level class, we will do in, uh, in week 1 of the second level class. So here's really what you had to work with. I did give you some starting HTML, so here's some HTML, it has some uh, generic content in there, so basically warm up some text, other information, and very, very little structure, just some basic content. And you also had a sketch to go off of, so here's a sketch of what the finished website's going to look like. We've got header section going across the top with logo, title, um, little search box there, navigation menu going down the left along with advertisement, main column with some content, and on the right we've got a photograph and we've got another small review so someone could for instance post a restaurant review. So this website is called Local Dining and it provides reviews to pages and allows users to make their own reviews. So that's really what we have to work with. Now of course you also had some directions too. You know, we had a, a bigger copy of the sketch, how that's going to look. And you had a basic checklist of all the features to go through. So I'm going to take this checklist, I'm going to move it off to my other screen here so I can kind of read through the steps and I'll read each step as I start to accomplish it. Not that you have to do the steps in order, but you know that's a good way to go if you have no other great ideas on you. So I'm go ahead and uh, I'll move this sketch off to the side too. So keep track of that, and then I'm gonna start to work on making this page. Now keep in mind I do have a, a multi-column layout with a header. So I think before I go too deep into this, I really want to start to set up my structure. So I've got the body of my page here, and one of the first things I'm gonna do is start to create the overall layout. And by the way, just so we can see how this looks. Let me head over, and in fact, I'll just do a, a run, and I will uh, I'll launch in Firefox. Here we go. So this is my initial page in Firefox, okay? So pretty boring looking, pretty lame there. So let's jump over here, and let's start to create some structural elements. I'm going to go ahead and create a container. So I'll do div id equals container. And since I did my opening div, I'll scroll on down to the closing body tag put in a closing div. I'll just do a little comment here. End of container. There we go. So I've got the container set. Now I do tell you it's it's the second bulleted list in the directions here. The site should be a fixed width layout set at 900 pixels wide. If someone visits the sites with a wide resolution display there will be equal amounts of white space on the left and the right. Which means this is going to be a fixed width and it's going to be centered horizontally on the web browser. Okay, So we'll keep that in mind. I'll take care of that in just a moment. I'm still going to do a little bit more structural stuff here on, my, on the HTML side of things. Okay, So I will jump over here now. So I've got the the container taken care of. Now I'm going to create a header section. Okay, there's nothing in the header section. Ultimately there's going to be a logo, a uh, page title, and a search box, but there's nothing in there at the moment. Then I'm going to go ahead and create divs for my left column. Okay, my left column is going to include the navigation menu. Okay. It's also going to include a, um, an advertisement, which is, doesn't exist yet, but that's really, I'll go ahead and put in uh, the end of my left column. Okay, there's my heading 2 for Sunset Grill. That's actually going to be part of the header based on my sketch, so I'll just go ahead and cut that out. Oops. Oh, maybe. Got a little careless there, so let's try this again. Well, actually, I take that back. Nope, let's go back to my sketch here. There we go. Restaurant name, that actually is going to be in my center column. So there we go. So restaurant name is going to be over there. So that's not part of that. It's not a header one. This is part of my second column or my central column. So I'll do div id. Let's scroll this up so you can see it a little better center column. There we go. That includes the review and it's also going to include the address. Go ahead and mark that. End of center call. And then I've also got a right column. Scroll that up a little bit so you can see it. Right call. 
Okay. And yeah, no, I'll be consistent here. Go into another comment. Okay, so I think I've got some pretty good structural elements on here. Let's see, I've got my container set with uh, with divs. There it is. Within that container, I've got a header section. After the header, I've got my left column. Left column already uh, has the navigation menu in it, at least the start of it. End of my left column. Okay, then I've got my center column starting up. Center column contains the title of the restaurant in question, contains a review, and the address and location, and a few other things we'll get to in a moment. There's the end of my center column, and then my right column currently doesn't have anything in it, but it will have a picture and a web form soon enough. All right, so that's that's pretty good. Now, let me start to set up a little bit of, of design here with a CSS. I don't have a style sheet created yet, so let me scroll up. I've already got a link tag and kind of a generic CSS file in there. I'll just go ahead and call this localdining.css and I need to create a CSS file. File, save as, localdining.css and I'll just move this one over to the left so it's right next to it. And I want to start to create some some rules now so I can have this organized. I'm going to go ahead and start off with a generic uh, reset rule. And that's not normally how I type it, so I'll do that. Okay, got that one. And the body of the page, let's see, I'll just go ahead and do a font family Verdana. Make a nice good sans serif font, nothing too tricky. Okay, now the container, this is my div container. Let's see, it needs to be 900 pixels wide. And I'm going to do a margin 10 auto. That'll be 10 pixels on the top and the bottom, automatic margins on the left and the right. And for now, just so I can kind of visualize this, it wasn't in the sketch, but I'll go ahead and put a thin border on that. Just so we can see how it's looking. Okay. Let's see, let's scroll these up a little bit. And then I've got other elements on here too. I've got um, my header. I've got a left column. Scroll here. I've got a center column. And a right column. Okay, so I've got these various elements. Now I know, for instance, with my um, with my header, it's going to have to have some 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 height to it so I can establish that. Let me jump back over to my directions. And my third bullet is the header section across the top uses a 900 by 110 graphic provided as a background. Okay, and then a logo is positioned to the left. So remember I'm just kind of going off this bulleted list of directions here. I kind of skipped over that first one, Up, you know, update title, author, description. So I've got my site, you know, 900 pixels wide. It's going to be centered. The header section is 900 by 110, uses a 900 by 110 graphic as the background. A logo is positioned to the left of the header. So I'm going to start, I'm going to be positioning stuff within the header. So keeping that in mind, I think I will for my header. I'm going to go ahead and do um, position relative. So that'll make it easy for me to position things within that header section. I'll go and set the height to 110 pixels. There we go. And I'm going to do a background image. And of course, I need to know what background image I'm using. And I did provide the images already. And let's see, I think I've got one on here. Uh, header-background.jpg. So header-background.jpg. OK, that's looking pretty good. Let's see how things are going over here. I'm going to jump back over to um, FileZilla. There we go, and do a refresh so we can start to kind of see how things are looking. Now, I don't see my uh, my overall border at the moment. So let me just go ahead and double check a couple things back over on the uh, CSS. Oh, where am I at? There we go. And it looks like I got a little typo in there, so let's see, I'll just fix that up. 
Okay, there we go. So now we can kind of see the border. So the resolution I'm using here is just a uh, just a little bit bigger, but uh, yeah, we can kind of see it's horizontally centered on the page. Okay, so I'm going to kind of pause here, and I'll uh, continue with this in the second part of the video.